Hi Aries, welcome to your general tarot forecast for the week beginning February 22nd through the 28th. It's Raina here and I am keeping it old school and using the classic Rider Waite deck with illustrations by Pamela Coleman. Gotta mention her because her depictions are just classic. I, you know, I think everything in a modern deck is kind of based on that, although you do see a lot of modern decks that really have no connection with uh, the traditional meaning, so maybe that isn't quite what I mean. Okay. So, wow, some really wonderful cards here. So, um, for the heart of the matter, for this time period, we have the Three of Cups. This could be some kind of celebra celebration that you are engaged in. It could be with friends. There's a very light energy for this time period. And this can be any kind of celebration. You could be celebrating um, that you're pregnant, that you have gotten a promotion, and you're just feeling like letting down your hair and having a good time. So I would call the general theme one of happiness and levity. In the past position, we have the Sun card. So this is a card, uh, you know, I think a lot of people say it's the best card in the deck, especially in the Major Arcana. And this is a card of success, of love, of healing, of children. So again, you know, if you're expecting a child, but also or expecting an addition, to your family. Um, but this is a card that could be career success. It can be anything related to a Leo individual if that person is in your life. Maybe this is somebody that you've met, but this card is definitely associated with love too. Creativity, did I say creativity? Um, even the number three is connected to creativity. So it could be a creative project that is working out very well for you and to the point where you are celebrating it but it could be an engagement or something along those lines and um, in the near future we have the justice card uh, and maybe you're having a divorce party and you've got new love in your life um, and you're waiting for that uh, justice to come in the other thing that this card can represent is that you're going to get your just desserts and I'm, I'm saying that in a positive way based on these other cards and you already know that you already know what the outcome is going to be and it's like you feel a sense of vindication about something where your um, feelings about a person turned out to be exactly what you thought they were um, if it was a divorce situation, the judgment went in your favor or is going to go in your favor and that's why you're celebrating because you know that everything is going your way right now. What, what the challenge is in all of this is represented by the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords in the upright position can be a lawyer. So if there's some person, maybe it's not your lawyer, maybe it's your if, if there is some kind of a lawsuit, by the way, I, I want to clarify, I don't mean to suggest that divorce is the only kind of uh, legal matter. So if there's another lawyer, um, this is the near future, so there may be, it may not be resolved, but you're already celebrating because you think that you have a strong case. Um, watch out for a lawyer 
that can be um, underhanded, maybe uh, try to get information from you to uh, tilt the case against you, and um, that, that could be something that you have to look out for. This could be an air sign individual, air sign male, who is problematic in your life in some way. Maybe they are two-faced, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, who this person may have um, problems. It's I don't know if I would say they might have a sharp tongue and they may use uh, a lot of criticism to try to keep you down or to... Uh, keep your, you know, kind of get inside of your head. But I think it's more of a thing where you can't count on this person. They make pro empty promises and then they leave. So if this is, th this may not have anything to do with it. See, you have so good cards on the top row. This may be even like a relative. And, you know, that, that person could unwittingly or you could unwittingly trust this person and that could create problems in your life it may have nothing to do with other it may be like a separate issue but um, I usually include like a challenge card because of um, wanting to balance it off to kind of see what um, may be influences that are have to be uh, watched out for the advice is the five of cups if there have been, uh, if there is going to be a loss, like if you are still um, waiting for some, this could be mediation at work, by the way, I should have said that. There may be something that you don't get everything and you have to um, refrain from feeling down about it because um, they always show like two cups standing up. Three are, are uh, down, but two are remaining. So uh, don't cry over, over spilt milk. Count your blessings. Uh, with the Three of Cups, you know, you may be just ready. Uh, it might even been like uh, you assuming that everything was just going to be perfect. And if there's one little thing that doesn't go your way, you feel like, oh, you know, I've lost everything, which isn't true. And... Um, also, any kind of hiccups in a creative project, don't uh, just uh, assume that it's not going to work out because we have as the outcome the Seven of Pentacles, which is assessing your growth. And this could be in a new relationship, a new love relationship, and this could be in a work situation. So, for instance, if you're negotiating for maybe you're suing uh, your business for back pay or uh, I'm talking about your company or something that you felt like you should have gotten that you didn't get that wasn't fair. Um, you may not get the full amount, but you you have to see whether or not it's still a productive situation. Um, but this card really represents the initial stages of something. So it could be like the embryonic stages of a relationship or a a creative project or some kind of uh, work situation. Maybe you started a new job recently and you found out that other people are getting paid more for the same work and you went to mediate the situation and you didn't get exactly what you were hoping for and you're thinking of throwing in the towel and basically what the saying is that you have to have patience. So um, Aries, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an additional card. This is an oracle card from the Sandra and Taylor deck and um, I don't do uh, weekly readings all the time um, I'm going to experiment with kind of fitting them in uh, the month here and there I kind of like the idea of them more than the monthly forecast so we'll see what happens but um, I think it would be kind of nice to cap it off with an additional Cards. I'm just shuffling. Okay, now I don't know if they read reversed cards. I got a card strategy, but it was reversed. I'll have to see the booklet. 
I'm trying to <laughs> get all these cards tidied up here. All right, let me see. Yeah, it, they read reverse cards, so I'm going to... Um, this is how it looks upright. And then it was number 21. I'm going to put it upside down because that's how it was. When the strategy card is reversed, it indicates a stall in progress due to lack of planning. You may have a goal in mind, but no specific ideas about how to achieve it. Or you may have found that your original plan plans have hit a wall, and now it's time to reevaluate things. If this is the case, remember that the path of least resistance may be tempting, but it rarely leads to anywhere new. Don't let the mundane tasks of life eat up all your time and take you off course. Instead of floundering and wandering around in confusion, put some significant mental effort into starting or renewing a comprehensive plan of attack. This card reversed is warning you to get out of the role of passive observer and become the author and director of your own destiny. And the affirmation is, I plan the necessary steps to achieve my goals and I'm willing to take action in that direction. I am flexible, persistent, and prepared. Now, uh, I'm going to add a little side note here because with the Knight of Swords in reverse, this may actually have been you. And now that I think about it, reading that card, is that you may have... Um, you may have been celebrating, not prematurely, but um, taking too much for granted about something, a project. And this is something that Aries, this is really, you know, true about Aries. It's funny that I got that card because Aries is a great initiator and, uh, you know, you're a cardinal sign. So you love new projects, but you don't necessarily sustain the effort. You get bored very easily and the details can kind of escape you. So maybe you have started something and it's promising. Um, I don't think it's a question of, like they say, um, being passive, because I don't think you are passive. But I don't think that sometimes Aries is persistent. I think they tend to peter out too quickly and they um, move on to the next thing. Or they, um, if it, you know, if they don't get those results, you know, right away, you guys tend to uh, say, you know, screw this, I'm going to go to the next thing. Now, I will say that this is, this is a generalization. I mean, if you, you might have personal planets in Taurus, and you might be very persistent. And that's actually a great combination because that can uh, lead you, especially if you have Mars in Taurus, that can lead you to consistent action, which is what they're talking about. This is, you know... Um, this card is really what it's all about, and actually, even though it's an outcome, it's almost like an advice card. This is about um, b having patience and waiting to see, a wait-and-see approach. And uh, yes, this is a passive card. This is connected to Earth energy. So this could be like, you know, uh, that Taurus energy that just is, is very um, enduring, uh, consistent, and persistent. So the point is that uh, you have natural uh, initiating abilities. So I don't think that there's a passive Aries person on the planet, but it's the consistency, I think, where you get tripped up. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you'd like a private reading, please check out the link below to my website, rainandmoonastrology.com. Have a great uh, end of... February. Take care. Bye.